Hi. Hello. 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 I'm late. By like half an hour. Not a whole hour, just half an hour. Because I'm pretty sure I committed to 9.30? Uh, rather than 9 p.m. Probably. Probably, maybe, maybe, probably. Yeah, 9.30, 9.30. EST. Um... I don't have anything to say. I'm just late. Not used to just jumping into the game. Um... I guess recap, maybe, on last time. That's good. Good to know. Um, we are investigating the murder. Oops. Of a detective Goodman, I think. Yeah, Bruce Goodman. He was apparently killed. Um. He was apparently killed in the parking lot of the uh, something. The, the prosecutor's office or whatever. I'm pretty sure the prosecutor's office. Um, that's where his body was found. Um. Hold on, actually we have the four pins. Okay, so he was found... Um... In this parking lot. That's where his body was found. He was stuffed into Edgeworth's car. Which, you know, you guys remember Edgeworth. Everyone remembers Edgeworth. Um... And the person that was seen allegedly killing him was a Miss Lana Sky, I believe. Yes. Um. Mm. <laughs> we're, we're trying to defend her because her younger sister came up to us and was like, um, hey, Miss, uh, I forgot her name. Which is so evil of me to not remember her name. Mia? Mia Faye? Yes. She was like, hey, Miss Mia Faye. You can definitely get my sister out of this situation. And then Phoenix was like, I'm not her, but we'll try, I guess. Um, because I think she, he was reminded of his first case with Mia. And her sister, Maya. Um. That's not really the important parts, though. So, okay. The person who saw Lana doing the murder was Angel Star. Um, and Angel Star definitely saw something. But she was not telling the truth. So... We got her. We got it so that, like, you couldn't really give, like, a clear ruling because the, the witness um, that was brought to the stand was not telling the truth. So, yeah, something like that. Um, and then, I don't really know how this came about, but. Uh, da Damon Gant, the chief of police, he showed up. I, I really don't know why. Um, and he was talking about some other murder. Actually, it's because we saw some evidence. Um, there was something that came up. This switchblade knife? That was, um... In our crime scene over in the parking lot and the chief of police came up um, and was like yeah that that knife has something to do with like 
you know, something we were investigating. Or it's, it's a murder weapon for a different case or something. And we were like, well, can we get some information about that case? And he was like, no. Because it, you know, it's still secret. And um, who's to say that it has anything to do with your case? Um, but we sussed out that the guy that was murdered in his case was also the guy that was murdered in our case. So obviously they have something to do with each other. Um, that's kind of it. Uh, that's the that's the amount of information we had um, prior to our last episode when I was playing this game. So none of that is really useful information to anyone who's seen that <laughs> um, semi recently. But. Um, we were in we were trying to investigate the uh the other murder and try to figure out what happened to that um the suspect the person who was um apprehended was mike Meegans, who is a patrolman um i think he definitely didn't do it but i think he um he went into the evidence room right after Detective Goodman, apparently. Um, because Detective Goodman's ID was used to get into the, the room, and he was right after him, maybe. <laughs> Actually, I should see. Um, Bruce Goodman was 514, and then let me see if I can get confirmation from Meekins that he was that other one. Actually, let's see if we can do... Okay. Um, move. We're gonna go to the detention center and show him this and see if we can get a confirmation on his ID number. Officer Meekins, could you take a look at this? I'm sorry, sir. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Really. Really sorry. But I have no idea what this is. Okay. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edwards, sir. He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. It takes a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edward. Okay. So I guess we won't talk to him. I, I know that... Last time, I- or not last time, because this was- I was sleepy, so I wasn't really thinking. Um, but I remember that I had concluded sometime in between last- uh, last week and today that I needed to see Edgeworth, because that's definitely the direction that- what's his face? Uh, what is his name? God. Gumshoe, Dick Gumshoe, um, I sh should have known he was like, because he, he told us, he was like, oh, that's Edgeworth's number, Edgeworth, Edgeworth went into the thing before Bruce did, so I should have known, I should have known, that means I have to talk to Edgeworth about it, because for some reason this case is tied to Edgeworth, even though, you know, he didn't, he's just, all up in here he's always he's just in here <laughs> but it is kind of weird how how tied to edgeworth this whole thing is um i i remember gumshoe he was talking about the sl9 in a very like cryptic way um because he was like oh that was a that was a really like tough case for Edgeworth or something. A very like memorable case for Edgeworth. But I don't know what it has to do with him. Cause I would have thought the the murder of his father or something would be the, the thing. But I guess of course he didn't really participate in that. He was just the witness or something. Hmm. 
Mm. My memory is so bad. Mm -mm. This is why I record these sessions. Because <laughs> especially if I ever want to like, um, I don't know. If I ever have anything to say about anything that I do on this channel, I'm not going to remember all of it. I'm not going to remember any of it. So it's good to have recordings so that I can go back and, and be like, oh yeah, this is what I said about this thing. This is literally the whole point. Oh, but Meekins has a, a, a wound on his hand as well. That's interesting. That's something I, I remember. Wound on her right hand. Uh, Meekins has a wound on his left. I think. Yes, his left. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm done like recapping and and thinking and stuff. Well, what did we find out from the evidence room? I'm gonna revisit the evidence room if that's okay. So there's blood on the door there, which I don't, I wonder whose locker that is, but I don't, I don't know. Um, there's a glove here. The glove is from the SL9. This, this is all the SL9 stuff. Um, salmon. This one's open. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's Detective Goodman's um, locker. Okay, so... Detective Goodman's locker is open. Um, I wonder... Do we know whose locker this is? learning about well okay the SL9 was a tough case um it was I think they convicted someone without any clear evidence I think they gave them the death penalty or something didn't they but we don't really know anything about that case Do you think Detective Goodman was already in his trunk? I doubt it. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Goodman, I think Goodman lost his ID. So somebody else used it to get inside. We'll just have to ask Edgeworth. Um, mm, I don't remember what the other detectives said about it. Mm, I want to talk to. Pause for a day, Edgeworth. Evidence lockers. Now, that was a bloody. Oh, we're asking about the SL9 incident, by the way. Yeah, that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a- So it was a murder? A serial killing? Oh. Serial killing. Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake. And Mr. Edgeworth built 
his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That puts me that put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors about forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. That was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodwin, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodwin was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So... 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 That switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Hey, Fal, look at the time. Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm gonna give him- I'm gonna give them my report for the day. That's not a report. It might help, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. No, he can't. <laughs> I believe in him. Okay. Who needs enemies when you have when you got friends like Detective Gumption? I'm off, pal. Later. Oh, I didn't get to ask him any other questions. Oh, okay. Okay, so the SL9 incident was a a serial killing. I think we got the most information about the SL9 incident from Detective Marshall, so I hope you don't mind, but we're gonna go through these again a little bit. Um, just the Marshall and the transfer of them. I'm just gonna read through it. Marshall, Detective Goodman, and Grully, Miss Star. They were all in the <laughs> yeah. they were all investigating it a little bit. Mm, I guess yeah. We'll just have to ask Edward and then see what we can conclude. We're gonna ask her about the SL9 incident, actually. Okay. Okay, so the vines are, for the SL9 incidents, they couldn't find any decisive evidence. But, 
someone was convicted and executed for the crime, um, which we now know is a serial killing. And this was using a shred of evidence um, that is believed to be fabricated, um, which is what started the rumors for Edgeworth making up stuff. I see, I see, I see. And then everyone was demoted, or the the detectives that were investigating that case were fired or demoted. For whatever reason. Okay. That's the information that I was looking for. We will see if we can talk to Edgeworth. Which we definitely will be able to. February 23rd. High Prosecutor's Office. Room 1202. Oh, it's this guy. He looks familiar. Ah, guess. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? He does not. Actually, I think he cares more about, like, he'll pay attention to women, but he won't pay attention to men. I think he's that kind of guy. Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. What? Is Edgeworth here? There. <laughs> there, standing by the window with a teacup in his hand. Right. He has the hotel Brigham tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office. You're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. I guess. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. We'll talk to him first, then we'll present evidence, and we'll talk more. Alright, let's ask him about the, the inquiry thing. So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error due to the investi during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently... There are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still... In I'm still the presenting prosecuting attorney. However, something happened? They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes. Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of, uh, the chief of police, Gant. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you. Why? <laughs> All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. 
but still. Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Alright. First, we will ask him about the thing that is directly related to him, which would be this. Oh, right. I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? A record of ID card usage? Edric, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that is- that's true. Why? Mr. Edric? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By Chief Gant, no less. Okay, I knew that guy was suspicious. I said it. He did it, didn't he? He did it, didn't he? They introduced new characters only for them to be <laughs> the murderer. I got you, guys. I got you. The cheap police? He wanted evidence for that for a case that wrapped up half. He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. But can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Okay, so that was one thing. Um, did we have any other thing that proves that this is kind of related to him. Um, Goodman's ID, the note, is there any other way that we can wait? Let's see if we have anything to talk about. No. Okay. Pretty sure we've already asked him about this. Um, Well, let's see what we can pull together. So, 4.40 p.m. Who went in between? Does it matter? I don't know. Okay, so... 4.40... Edgeworth went into the... was in there. Um... Me. Um, and then at 5.12, he went to the prosecutor's office. Ooh, I don't, I don't know. I might just have to show him stuff and see how he feels about it. Um, Okay, I, I just showed him something random and tried to see if there was anything that he would say about it, but he was like, we're, we're not talking about this. This is not a discussion that we're having. So we're trying to get a reaction out of him. Um, oops, I didn't mean to. So this kind of shows where 
that there was a pool of blood over there. Um, I think the jar. Oh, <laughs> right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with over a cup of tea. I'll pass the I'll pass on the tea and just tell me about the case. Mr. Bright. Mr. Edwards just told you no in a very polite manner. Who started you on anyway? Okay. Maybe if I just show him my best evidence, I can get some sort of reaction out of him. <sighs> best evidence. I showed him the ID card record, which shows that, you know, he's got direct involvement in there. Well, I'll ask him about the screwdriver. No. Okay, we're just gonna have to present everything to him. Well, actually, can you tell me about these? No. Um, the, the love? Well, like, what state was the, the thing in? Best evidence. Okay, I'm kind of just rereading the thing that we got before. So he was in the, edu the, the evidence room. And that was to grab... Uh, I think Edgeworth is gonna just generally be pretty tight-lipped on this. Okay, but we're trying to get some information about SL9. Because apparently it was, you know, a really big case for him. Um, so anything SL9 related? Okay, that's- Oh! <gasps> I skipped through it because I- I thought that he was- Oh no, I missed the dialogue. Okay, I'll ask him again. Okay, I'm- I'm skipping through it and I'm gonna ask him about it again. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that. It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident, and some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are you are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. Amen. That wasn't my fault. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Okay, now I can ask him. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy Chief of Police at the time. Damon Gat. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, too, then. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous, too, Mr. Edgeworth? Ooh, that tone was all the way off. What I want to know is why was a deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the, ex and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't... Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win the trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. 
My sister? What? If you were still studying forensic study, science. Huh? Yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. Luminol testing fluid. Hmm. Well then, we might have use for this. Okay. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints. It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. For me? Are you sure? We're the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh... Th thanks! How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Okay. Oh, I love Edgeworth so much. Fingerprint... Fingerprinting set and fingerprint file received. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Okay. Oh, okay. It's go time. It's go time. Is that music? She's gone. Oh, we're gonna see something crazy. Um... February 23rd. Evidence room sector 3. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will that will have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at the glance. Quit protracting. <laughs> Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. Um, I will choose this one. Okay. Now it's time to check for the prints. Let me show you how it's done. I was starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum power around. Well, how do you do that? With enter, see? Uh, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? With E. Exciting, I know. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow. That looks like fun. Might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Right? I guess I better give it a try. Oh, <laughs> aha, you did it. You found one. I didn't know I had to spread it out. But, <coughs> <coughs> but this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. <laughs> out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. 
Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes. <coughs> Sorry. I feel like I have something in my throat. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker. Look, looking at the locker door again closer. Oh. Seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Oh, that's a fingerprint. Yay, a print so clear it's dazzling. Dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. So, we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we've got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to find... How am I supposed to know who it was? I can make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would we most likely find on this evidence locker? Um... Well, it would probably be gumshoe. Yeah, because I think that was his locker. Aha. Uh -huh. So the prince belonged to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Ray? You gave me this, so what, look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, some, sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for your, the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Do y'all see the handprint? Cause I do not. <clears throat> Detective Goodman's evidence locker. It's empty. Only Detective Goodman himself can open this locker. So the person who took this knife had had to have been Detective Goodman. But why is it wrapped up in the scarf muffler and stuck inside the car muffler? Okay. Uh, where else did we see a handprint? I got no clue, really. That yellow crime machine tape. You know, yesterday was my first time seeing that. It was always my dream to push through the crowd and just step over the tape. It's a little daunting to encounter it again so soon. I think maybe you're overreacting a little. Where else did we see a handprint here? There's blue and yellow paint here. That's all I need to paint a portrait of you, Mr. Wright. I'm wearing a red necktie, you know. Okay. Where else did we see? Where 
where else do we see a hand crank? This is where we got a Luna fluid reaction, right? Did we? There was a handprint here. Okay, we're gonna try using this. <laughs> there her eye is there go her eyes sparkling again. Oh, the fact that we're check the fact that there's a choice, we're definitely gonna get in trouble for this. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with, with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't... Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find uh, prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer... Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints added to the court record. That's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gunshoe's prank. The luminal reaction. The blood and the fingerprints are all in the same place. Oh. Oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a white blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall? Looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I, I don't believe it. No, it, could, it couldn't have been him. We don't know why he was in there. We don't know why he was in there. Mmm, <sighs> it's, it's, it's not even been an hour yet. Okay, let's, let's play for a little bit. Do you think we can do it? February 24th, 9.41 a.m. District Court. 
Defendant Lobby Number Two. So what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. Actually, okay, I have an idea. Because I don't want to get into this part of the, the, uh, the trial. Because, like, I'm not gonna really gonna... Wait. <laughs> I'm not really gonna be able to save and, and stuff during it. And, and if I decide I want to go to sleep... And that's gonna suck for me. <coughs> so I have an idea. Jesus, it my my what's it called? <laughs> I don't know what the name for it would be, but my- it, ugh. Um... I think... We... Are going to... Game. Oh, another game. I mean, um, so we're going to switch over to the chatting stream screen real quick while I download this game because I don't have it on my, my computer. Um, okay, I'm gonna exit. Um, well, I, I don't, I definitely want to want to have like a good like starting off ending point and, and stuff um but i don't want to end stream right now not yet i actually have a lot more energy than i expected to um but I, ah, uh, man, on this case, I really don't know what to make of it. I definitely do not know what to make of it quite yet. Because, yeah, I've just been confused this whole time. Well, when thinking about what we have, um, we wouldn't be defending Miss Lana Sky if she did it, in my opinion. Um, that's kind of just not how the game works. Or, that is how the game works. Um, we're defending her because she is innocent. Usually, that's kind of the expectation. Um, but there's, I don't really, like, what was she doing with the body? Um, <laughs> we have video evidence of her, um, interacting with Edward's open trunk which presumably had a body inside of it. Um, she was wearing his coat too, which is weird. Um, and I got no clue. I got no clue. I don't know. Uh, and then Goodman, he was, I don't know, was Goodman supposed to be doing the transferals? Um, 
and the evidence was inside his evidence locker. All that so none stuff was in his evidence locker. So he either Cause it's hard to believe that he went into the evidence room. Um and if you watch any kind of kind of I don't know what kind of shows you would kind of see this stuff on, but there is the very real possibility that somebody got a hold of his fingerprints um, and just used that. Um, like, I, I don't know. I've seen like scenes where people um, get a, uh, like a piece of tape. Um, I've seen, like, people do, like, a little piece of tape, uh, that they put on top of something that would have a fingerprint on it, and then, uh, like, they peel it off and then they use it where you would find a fingerprint. Like, I've seen that kind of thing. Um... Some, maybe somebody did that in order to get into his locker, but somebody definitely took his ID, or he was definitely missing his ID, because he was filling out the report that he lost something, and he couldn't remember his ID number because he didn't have it. Distracted um, by Twitter. Okay, let me close it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, couldn't have been Goodman, especially because, like, Meekins, he, he was like, hey, can you confirm you're who you are? And then um, Goodman went to attack him. So. Clearly, that wasn't Goodman. Um. Huh. But who was it, if not Goodman? Hmm. But that kind of. But at the same time, I'd rather it had been Goodman. Because I'm thinking that maybe, um,. You know, Edgeworth was in there, he left, but he didn't leave the property. Um, Goodman was in the evidence room and was killed in the evidence room. And then he was driven by, and then they stuffed him in Edgeworth's trunk. And then he was taken from the police department to the prosecutor's office. But that's still, that's a little outlandish because that doesn't match up with his time of death, I don't think. Unless, because I, I remember his um, autopsy report saying that his death was in between um, this time and this time, which honestly, when you think about it, he could have been stabbed, but he didn't die until about that time because maybe he was bleeding out in edward's tr trunk but i i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know okay i have to extract this um into <clears throat> some other folder
no idea where, where, where I put games. Proven files? No. Xbox games? No. Delivery optimization. No clue. No clue. Delivery optimization Windows apps. Okay. Uh, I'll just put it in here. Hopefully, it makes a folder for it, so I don't have to stuff all of this stuff into a folder. Please. Pretty please. Nope. It... Ugh. Call it the game. Mm. Actually, I'll call it um, itch itchio, so I can uh, download other itchio games in here. Maybe. Uh, I think I kind of have the other. I I do have like at least one other itchio game. Uh, download it on my computer and I'm so sure that I have it um, just sitting on my desktop okay I'll put it in here I I need to make a new folder for it folder um we're gonna make another folder for this game i didn't spell it correctly but that's okay It's all connected to SL9 incident, which three of our character, no, four of our, no, five of the characters that we met were all involved in. I just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I like that. I think it's interesting um, for, for Ace Attorney, how it becomes more it becomes about more than the um it becomes about more than the murder you know because you start out with like at least especially in this case you start out with like trying to prove that it's you know not the person that they think it is um display capture I'm sorry I, I got my um my thing up almost why not Okay. Sure. Um, I have to use window capture or display capture. Oh, don't do this to me. Um, all right, fine. Window capture, window capture. 
uh, game capture, if game capture doesn't work. Game, if game does not work. And this one is going, here we go. This still goes underneath this nonsense, um, and should be labeled as red. We're almost ready, almost. Almost, almost. Set color red? Okay. We're gonna make this as big as possible. Um, okay. Okay, that's all set up. Um, in short, I have no idea what's going on. Um, in um, in that case, um, and it is interesting that it has become so much more than that case. <clears throat> but right now, I really am just trying to figure out how we managed to have this be tied to, 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 to something else, you know, <laughs> like it's so convoluted, you know, wait, uh, games and demos, games and demos, I think, yes, okay, um, Actually, I just realized I've been using the wrong music this whole time. Uh, that's because I'm used to using this as the beginning music. We're actually supposed to be, um... We're supposed to be here, music-wise, when, when just, like, talking in the middle. This is also kind of the E right back music, I think. I'm pretty sure this is the BRP music. Um, but oh well. Oh well. Because we're ready. The game is done. The game is ready. Transition. Yay. Can you hear? I, I think the game audio should be fine. I think I kind of had it. I think I have the game audio pretty balanced. Um, it should be pretty balanced. Mm. Hi, <laughs> this is a game that just came out, I believe, called Married in Red. Um, I've already seen somebody play it, as the title may or may not suggest. Um, but I really liked it, and I wanted to play it. Anyways, <laughs> we're also, um, actually, we're just gonna jump into it. Um, I apologize if the, the visuals are a little awkward. Um, but I had to set this up just real quick. I don't have any, like, background thing to go behind me. Right now, um, unless I, I could probably use, like, the just chatting just to, like, break it up, but... I don't really know if I feel like it. 
I think we'll be fine just like this. Warning. This game is a work of fiction. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Movement, uh, arrow key, shift to sprint, Z to interact, confirm, X to cancel, pause. Some areas may be clickable. Okay. There was a warning. Um, be warned, <laughs> I guess. Um, I know that there's like a little bit of violence. This is kind of a, like a dark story. Um, but I don't know what you would expect from a game called Married in Red. We're going to get my mouse out the way because I don't think I need it. My friend Da Zhang from university is getting married. We were studying to become doctors. I haven't seen her in a long time. And I think it's shift to run if I wanted to. Okay. Uh, T is to do. To do. Say hi to Dajang. Look at the kitchen. And meet the groom. This is Dajang. <laughs> And the, the wedding dress, of course. Wow, look at you all dressed up. You... Me? How did you... Ah, welcome. Thank you for coming. A man in a pink suit approached the two. Woksu, right? Congratulations, you two. And Young Hoon, again, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to be here. If it wasn't for you, I would have known Da Zhang was get would be getting married. What? You invited her? Oh, yes. But when? Back when you were getting tired of writing invites, it took over yours. I remembered you mentioned your old university friend before, so I thought it'd be a nice surprise. Oh god, I'm- I'm terribly sorry. Was I not supposed to? Yeah, Dajang, was he not supposed to? Do you want me to leave? No, it's fine. You did nothing wrong, honey. Thank you. It's nice to see your face again. Really. No, please, excuse me. I... I need to go greet the other guests. Dajon quickly turns on her heels and flees the scene. Uh, wait, honey. I do sincerely apologize. We really appreciate... We appreciate that you came. Please, do still make yourself comfortable. Okay. Uh, we said hi to that on. Um, I don't think we have any reason to talk to these other people, do we? These are the bridesmaids. I guess we- yeah, we'll get a lay of the land. So this is the door we walk into. Um... It's locked. Okay. A group of men converse with one another. They're all dressed in groomsmen suits. You don't recognize any of them. They seem confused, but open to your presence. A lit fireplace. Oh, here's the kitchen. The wedding cake and... A 
delectable looking cake. Hmm. The chatter from the room next door can be easily heard. Seems like the walls are pretty thin. Okay. Walls are pretty thin. We have the cake and stuff here. Uh, there's a locked room to our left. Young Hoon's immediate family. We've never spoken to them before, but their overly optimistic features make their relation obvious. A group of women converse with one another. They're all dressed in bridesmaid dress dresses. You vaguely recognize some of their faces from university, but fail to remember anything else about them. Okay, and then this is the, the catering area. Caterers are casually speaking to one another in hushed voices. <laughs> a little cream colored dog. She's tied on a leash. The dog seems to enjoy your touch. She pants in excitement as she circles around before sitting down on her bum again. Um, a serene fountain. Let's talk to Dajong again. So you were hiding out here. Didn't you miss me? It was like you'd seen a ghost. I didn't think you'd be out this early. I missed you. You what? I mean, how can't you get a little emotional over seeing an old friend? I'm a bit hurt. Is it not reciprocated? Look, I get that you're upset, but I get you're upset I didn't invite you, alright? Hmm, I guess that's close enough. I ended up making it here anyway, so no harm done, right? Right. So that's who you're marrying. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. He's nice. I was just surprised. That's not your usual type. Seemed way too innocent compared to how you are. That being is... <laughs> okay. One more thing that we can talk to her about. So... How does it feel to wear a dress like that? Very pretty. It suits you. It really does. Uh, thank you. Then maybe you should powder your face a bit more. You look pale. Hmm. Is that so? You know, I do enjoy your outfit too. Though maybe you missed the memo on the dress code. Dress code? I mean, all black? Come on, Boksu. It's not like you're here for a funeral. Huh? I thought I dressed for, right for the occasion. Okay. Let's double check our to-do list. So we said hi to Zhang. We didn't have to talk all to her, but wanted to anyways. Uh, let's double check the kitchen. I went in there. Foxu, wait. Oh wait, Foxu, go, wait. Listen, just please. It's a wedding. My wedding. Just let me have this and we'll talk immediately after, okay? Why are you so convinced I'm here to do something? I shouldn't have anything to do. I shouldn't have anything to be mad about after all. Those were your words, not mine. So 
so relax and enjoy your wedding. Fine. Um, I'm pretty sure we could interact with this table. I remember delectable looking cake. Gained a cake cutting knife. Alright, we said hi to Zhang. We looked in the kitchen. Uh, let's talk to the groom. We haven't really spoken to him. Yes. Hello. Is there anything that you need? How did you and Dajong meet? Well, it's a bit embarrassing. But I actually first met her when I broke my wrist. That's so. I thought it was inappropriate for a doctor to have relations with her, with her patient. Oh no, it's nothing like that. She wasn't my doctor or anything. It's actually the opposite. She was... She's the one who hit me with the, her car? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. See, I'd been trying out one of those electric scooters to ride to work. But I'd never actually ridden one before. Well, actually, I'd never ridden any scooter before. But the idea is I was doing good riding it, but didn't know how to use the brakes or make it stop. Mm -hmm. She hit the brakes, but I still ran into her car and fell. She bandaged my hand and drove me to the hospital to get it checked out. To make up for it, I offered to get a coffee for her. We ended up hitting it off. I guess you could say getting hit by that car was the luckiest thing that could have happened to me. Wow. That's... Uh, touching. How'd you find this venue? A bit unusual, isn't it? It's interesting that it's Western style. Not to mention it's located quite far from the city. I didn't know a ceremony hall like this existed in Korea. What actually isn't a, we a wedding venue to begin with? This is a private pension that my family has been managing for a long time. Sometimes we used it when I want to take time off or when holding events like this with a lot of guests. A private pension? Is that why I haven't seen any counters or security cameras? Is there really need for any? I mean, it's private property. We all know each other. And we're gathered together for a happy cause like today <laughs> honestly it feels like you you have a hard time trusting people uh sorry no you're right there's a reason why i'm like this it's something dajan would know a lot about uh it seems like she's helped you a lot in that aspect our dajan is really the sweetest huh <laughs> Okay. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. I'd like to speak with you in private. Um, there's a lot of guests around. It's kind of hard to. Is there anywhere on the property that's more secluded? Oh yeah, there's the powder room Dajang was using to get ready. Only her and I have the keys for it, so we'd have plenty of privacy. That sounds perfect. Uh, so it's probably this locked room. Shall we? I'd like to apologize once more. I didn't think Dajang would 
react this way. Oh, Dajang, she looked a little too surprised. Not just surprised, distressed even. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. I definitely should have let her know. Do you think this was a bad idea? Oh, it's terrible for her. Hmm? Sorry, but that. May I ask why you haven't seen her? When was it you said? Since university. Oh, lots to remember there. I'm sure you can tell, but I don't have friends. The Zhang was my only was my one and only exception. She was the first to show me that life wasn't is it all about grades or degrees? She showed me that even when chasing ambition, I shouldn't be missing out on my youth. She was good to me. Daoshang took me everywhere she went. Even the night she had to assist a nearby hospital short on staff. You know what happened there? Okay, my voice acting is not, <laughs> so I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to really nail this. I, I don't think I've been nailing it at all, but you know. Uh, yeah. uh, don't try and scream. It'll just scar your focal card. It's even worse. Why? studying to become doctors. I like to think we were good friends, that she liked me, even if I didn't look like that for others. So when she made a mistake, messy, irresponsible and completely avoidable mistake, something paying attention during a standard procedure with little to no risk of death could pre prevent. What do I do? I think I messed up. Help. I was the person she went to. I was the person who took the blame. You, because of you, my son is... Aren't you studying so that you can save lives? How could you do the opposite? I didn't do it. You're being let go from the program. It's not my fault. It's hers. To my dear Dajang, who shows not a single hint of atonement. I wonder if you'll feel that same guilt about marrying him as you did about betraying me. We're gonna save real quick. The girl. There's something in his pocket. I found a bedroom key. the door. You click the lock shut. You put the key back in the groom's pocket. There shouldn't be anyone else wandering in here. Now the question now of how I get out. I don't think I can- I can't walk over him, which makes sense. A beautiful vanity. You found a pearl necklace. Good hiding place. You shove his body inside and secure the door shut with the necklace. Luxurious bed. You found cleaning supplies.
Click on the stains to remove them. Oh, I have to actually click on them. Blood and clothes. Okay. So there's nothing on us anymore. Um, nothing for anybody to see. The door is locked. Nobody can walk in. Uh, let's check our inventory. We have the cake knife and the bloody clothes. Um, which we'll need to be doing something about both of those for sure. A window leading into the garden. There doesn't seem to be anyone outside right now. Okay. Um. To do. Hide the body. Dispose evidence. Gain insight. Introduce motive. Make her atone. Those are our to do lists. Cream-colored dog. She's tied on a leash. She's expectantly sniffing towards the catering area and, win and whining. Use the knife? No. Wait, <laughs> that was phrased wrong. Cut the leash? Yes. You cut the dog free from the bench. She excitedly runs off towards the catering area. Okay, so that way... I don't think we'll really look suspicious coming out here. Ah, uh, someone catch her. She's going for the cake. Oh, those are the bridesmaids. Still, um, and some people enjoying the party. Uh, the caterers are distressed. Grimsmen are jumping on to grab the dog. Oh, the Grimsmen are, are in the, the place that they were in before. Um, and there is definitely a fireplace over there. A lit fireplace. Burn clothes. The clothes shrivel and burn away to ash in the fire. The muffled voice is of the groomsman next door can be heard from the west wall. Oh, okay. There's some light laughter among the group while one person tries to get a point across. <laughs> Did you see his face when we bumped into that girl the other night? Mina, right? Yeah, Mina. Oh, please, nothing happened between those two. I'm not saying anything did. I heard they met during the New Year's party. Oh, really? From who? So Jun said so. Him? He's starting up drama every time I see him. He exaggerates everything. You think they hooked up? He got real antsy when she showed up the other night. Nah, he hasn't been like that since uni. Probably got embarrassed. It's, awk it's awkward seeing an acquaintance while out drinking. Especially during the bachelor party. Let's just count ourselves lucky Seojun wasn't that wasn't around. You just know he would have been the first one to start the rumor mill. Group laughs in agreement and continue with their discussion. Oh, we gained some insight. But we have to introduce the motive to somebody. Who could we possibly talk to about this? The bride's <clears throat> the bride's the bride's they moved. So we can see if we can talk to them. <clears throat> A group of women converts with one another. They're all dressed in bridesmaids' dresses. Oh, bridesmaids. 
I t pronounced it incorrectly. He vaguely recognized some of their faces from university, but failed to remember anything else about them. I need to talk carefully if I want to avoid suspicion. You're De Zhang's friends, right? <sighs> nice to meet you. I wanted De Zhang's old friends back in uni, but I had to drop out. I believe that was back when Da Zhang had haven't met you three. I just wanted to drop by and say hello, since it would be a shame to miss out on, the, on how Da Zhang has been doing these days. Why? Nice to meet you. Da Zhang rarely talks about her past, so it's really refreshing to meet one of her old friends like this. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about Da Zhang ever since I dropped out. I didn't know she makes such a make such wonderful friends while I've been gone. Speaking of good friends, I actually have some news to share. It's a bit unfortunate, and I can't seem to figure out how I should tell Da Zhang without making things awkward. Oh? What news? I overheard this from the groomsmen just now, but I heard you caught Young Hoon with during... Ah, sorry, I missed some details. Could you say that one more time? Oh. Xiao Jun. A man named Xiao Jun caught Yang Hu cheating. <laughs> cheating with a woman named Mina during New Year's. What? Oh my god, are you serious? I knew he was a bit of a hotshot during school, but I didn't know he would still act like that. Tashang is getting married to him today without even knowing this? Should we tell her or not? I told you guys he looked a little too innocent. I can't believe he would do something trashy like that. He knew how much Tashang was head over heels for him. Oh, seems like Tashang really cherished him. Tell me about it. When they first started dating, it's been all she ever talks about. She acted like she met her own Prince Charming. You know that Zhang's always been passionate, a hopeless romantic even. Definitely. She would do anything in the name of love. I don't know what Dajong would do if she found out about this. I'm not sure if we should tell her or not, but thank you for letting us know regardless. Of course, you're still hoping everything wraps up without a hitch. Okay. Technically, we're not done with our introduced motive thing, so I guess there are other people we have to talk to. Um. <clears throat> I think. We could interact with Young Hoon's family earlier. Um Young Hoon's immediate family. You've never spoken to them before, but their overly optimistic features make their relation obvious. I need to talk carefully if I want to avoid suspicion. Young Hoon's family, right? Yes? Congratulations. Ah, thank you. I would be his mother. And who might you be? Oh, I'm a friend. I'm a friend of the bride. We haven't chatted before, but I just wish to express how happy I am to see my dear friend Dajon. You went to a fine gentleman like Myung Hoon. Did you know? Dajon was actually very when she was dating uh, Myung Hoon. She's a partner to the point where she would do anything for Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Could you repeat that for me? Da Zhang was actually very... ...attached when she was dating Young Hoon. She's... ...a passionate partner to the point where she would do anything for... Her. ...love. And I'm glad someone like Young Hoon is to do, be receiving such strong affections from her. I can tell she's counting a lot on Young Hoon. 
I Myung Hyun would be excited to hear that Da Zhang feels that way. The truth is Myung Hyun feels the exact same. He's been doing nothing but sighing and mumbling about what he did so right to be able to marry her any chance he gets. It's been such a pain, really. <laughs> anyway, Da Zhang's such an angel. Thank you for letting us know. It was sweet of it was so sweet of you. I'll be sure to tell her later. We're more than happy to welcome her as a part of our family. Of course. I can't wait for the ceremony. Oksu, there you are. The Zhang finally grabs your wrist. Firmly grasps your wrist. I've been meaning to talk to you. What a coincidence. Me too. Privately. Sounds like a luxury with all these guests around us. The bedroom should work fine. The bedroom? I wonder what the groom would, be, would think of you saying that. You know exactly what I meant. Well, I'm the guest here. Lead the way. This way. <sighs> Cut the bullshit. Why are you here? I told you to congratulate my dear friend's wedding. Why else would I come here for? <laughs> you really expect me to believe that? I know you're up to something. I know you're up to something, and as soon as I figure out what it is, I'll... You'll what? What more can you do to me that you haven't already done? You've already done plenty. Do you ever feel guilty about what happened? You, s you said you weren't here for that. I fucking knew you were lying. How many patients have you lost since then? It's always unfortunate you can't save them. How many times have you diagnosed someone wrong? How many times has your hand been too clumsy for your own good? I- I've been doing good, I swear. Do you ever wonder? If I'd been the one still practicing, if I'd been in your place, they'd still be alive? Still, not a single apology. Get out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. Since it's supposed to be a good play, good day, I was planning on waiting until the end, but... I just can't. I'm gonna let myung Hoon know, and you'll be escorted out. Speaking of myung can I at least give you my wedding ring before I leave? It would be a shame if you missed it. I went through so much... Preparing it after all. Yeah. Now? You said you were gonna call me young Hoon, right? Put your hand in my pocket. What does your pocket have anything to do with young Hoon? This is. You. You didn't. I didn't. You did. What? This was your one. Is... Is that what you're gonna tell? You're insane. Why would I? It's our wedding day. How should I know? I'm simply a witness. Who knows? Maybe you caught him loving someone else more than me. Because your fragile heart couldn't take it, and you needed to spare yourself the heartbreak. Stop it. Stop talking. Because you would do anything to save yourself. I wouldn't do that. I would never. Never kill someone. Kill. I would never kill someone o over something as petty as that. And I would never kill a patient. You. Shut up, shut up. I'll kill you. Oh, oh. <gasps> I... 
Fox Sue? Fox Sue? What is she yelling my name for? Like she didn't stab me. <laughs> I did everything perfectly except for that. Oh my god. I did everything perfectly. <laughs> Actually, should I continue? Or should I... Should I continue? Or should I just leave you guys with that? I think that it wouldn't hurt <laughs> to, to just leave you guys with that. Maybe. Um, I, mm, no, we'll finish it. We'll finish it. I don't, we'll, we'll finish it. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. The music is really good though. <laughs> Okay, I did it this time. <laughs> you removed the pearl necklace from the wardrobe. Uh, uh, wait, she screams. I don't have to do it. Is everything all right? I, I just heard some screaming and... Oh God. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, Mm -hmm. is Watch out, ma'am. You need to leave. She's a psycho. I saw her stab Mm -hmm and try to hide his body. See all that blood? She tried to kill me just now too. You need to get somewhere safe. That's not true. She Get away from my son. No, it's not. I didn't. Dajon fled the scene, wailing. Come on, please wake up. Oh God, my baby, my poor baby. They're screaming. Is that blood? Oh my god, that's actually... Cops. Did someone already call the cops? She dropped her weapon. I think she only meant to go for it. Jesus Christ, do you think she found out about the possible affair? I knew she'd get passionate, but not obsessed. I didn't... I didn't do it. It's not... not mine. It's hers. Dear Dajon. Do you want to turn around? We finished it. I wanted to play it because I knew it was going to be a pretty quick game. Bell? Calendar. Music was awesome. Uh, obviously, the visuals were also awesome. Um, that The last um, visual of, um, you know, like her, like in the middle, 
kind of, I don't know, they probably get the, the expression right and the feeling and stuff. Um, very, very striking. I think visuals would be the word that I would use. Yay, we finished the game, Married in Red. It was awesome. Um, this is a game that I, I think I literally just saw somebody play it, um, yesterday. So, everything's fresh in my mind. I, I kind of went through it pretty quickly, um, without any, like, additional talking and stuff. Because I kind of just wanted it to be that, um, or I thought it would be okay. Especially when I was, like, kind of reading through it and, um, whatnot. I was like, yeah, I think this is going to be kind of like a... It just goes like it, it, the story tells itself. I, I'm not gonna like overthink about it because I've I already uh saw it um uh, and I already know what happens. So I did everything perfectly. If you want to see this game is free, by the way. It's um free. It's on itch.io, um, which is a game full of a lot of like um indie games mostly uh very good upspace for that i need to visit it more often um we actually have another game um that i downloaded from itch.io i believe uh called voices of the void but we're not talking about the game right now but i definitely do have to play it i did promise somebody i was going to play it and stream it and stuff um i want to talk about it before I don't know it's it was a it's a really good like short story um when i first was watching it i was kind of on the edge of my seat and um thought it might be nice to kind of like write a short story like that not like um well yes maybe with like the same kind of themes and 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 whatnot but not exactly um there's a a lot that you can achieve with just with just that like it, it was kind of all of what felt like 15 minutes of, of gameplay um, and although all you had to do was kind of go point A to point B some really basic like problem solving stuff um, it was still it was still good um, it is, um, there is something very, um, powerful about, um, choosing to tell a story, um, that only moves forward if the player allows it to, or if the audience allows it to. I feel like if this was a movie, then it wouldn't have hit as hard. I think if it was a book, then maybe... I think if it was a book, then definitely. I think this would be really good as a book. Um, because imagine, um, them trying to, like, sprinkle in little hit hints of sort of what, um, she's about, she's planning to do. Um. But I remember, or I guess still on that thought, like, her walking in and noticing that there isn't any kind of security, it's like, why would she note that? And then, um, her, like, imagine if she's, um, she, like, she has her little to-do list, which is more so for the player, I think, than for her, um, telling her to check the kitchen. And imagine, like, her kind of thought process thinking, I wonder if there's, um, like, wondering if there's a kitchen around somewhere where she would find something sharp, or I bet she'll find something useful in the kitchen kind of words like that to kind of clue things in but you're still kind of like I feel like it kind of gives the same flow but if it was a like if it was a comic I feel like it would be a little like it, it, not everyone would really see what's going on um but with like a book that's like solely words or a game like this like you can't help but notice those little things it feels like your senses are heightened a little bit um and i'm thinking like with a comic or something it would be just a little too on the nose um if you were to point out anything um 
it would feel a little too on the nose because you'd have to write out the, the character's thoughts in like little thought bubbles or kind of highlight any any objects of interest um, in a way that might be a little like mm. Mm. Um, but if it was a book that was just you know sh sh squarely words and you would really be missing out on like the stunning visuals and the music of course because um, you, you wouldn't get all this stuff if, if it wasn't a game so it's very charming very charming i wish i could remember like my initial like feelings though when um when watching it for the first time because i know i was like like actually on the edge of my seat like gasping like oh i can't believe they did that especially because i i missed a good chunk i really got to like the plot twist um and honestly i kind of hope because um for for my friends who may or may not be tempted to watch the stream i i really hope that um you that they see that I played it and then play it themselves <laughs> instead of watching me do it because I don't think my voice acting was really there but it was something that I wanted to share um despite that like I, I didn't I didn't do it because I thought it was gonna be good I just wanted to share it with anybody who happened to stumble upon um this this section um and I, I wanted to spend more time uh, here in this in this space before I went to bed. Because I still feel very energetic, very sprightly right now. Uh man. Maybe, you know what I could do? No. If I say it out loud, then I kind of commit to it. But, um... Well, actually, something I'm definitely going to do. Uh, so this game is by Studio Investigrave, and they were known for a game called Dead Plate beforehand. Um, Dead Plate is the game that I was familiar with, and I've only seen a little bit of... I've only seen a little bit of gameplay from it, so we're definitely going to play that, and then maybe can kind of bounce off of like what our thoughts are of the studio as a whole um it's very inspiring though this game in particular is very inspiring to me um i definitely like for a while now i've wanted to or i kind of hoped that i could kind of uh give some chance to in terms of like anything that I wanted to do, I wanted to do like a visual novel first. And this is not a visual novel, this is um like an RPG maker game. Um where you know you can move around and, and stuff. Um But still This is since it's so story centric, it still kind of reminds me of like kind of considering going for a um kind of going for a uh a visual novel first um because i love stories i think this was a good story i think this was a really good reveal and um i think that the way that they went about it was really good because you just learn everything straight from dialogue and um there's no better way to execute this, in my opinion, mayhaps. Maybe, may, mayhaps. Maybe. Um. Thank you. <laughs> I, I still, I still don't really know how to um, end all this stuff. Up, but um, thank you for joining me. Um, for Ace Attorney, I'm glad that we finished, um, I'm glad that we finished the investigation finally. Hopefully the next 
section which is going to be the trial or it's going to be a trial um hopefully that goes pretty well um hopefully 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 um except for the fact that i don't really know what's going on so i don't have a whole lot of faith <laughs> I, I really don't, but hopefully that goes well. Um, and then we were also able to learn about a new game today. Which is always nice. I think one of my favorite things to do is going to be just playing like really short games and demos and stuff. Um, so I'd like to continue to do that. I hope um, that you enjoyed um, it for some reason hopefully because the game is cool and then hopefully we can talk more about it later or at least um whatever i don't know i hope th i don't think this is gonna be a game that i ever forget despite the fact that i had so little to say about it just now um but that's kind of just because i don't i just can't that first impression is really really important I think or very crucial for this game in particular um but we'll see um we'll see what else um this studio has to offer us um hopefully sooner rather than later probably um I'm gonna say maybe in between Ace Attorney and um, Bayonetta, when I get back to that. I think in between those two games, um, we will, uh, check out Dead Plate or any other game that, um, Investigrave has to, has in store for us, yes. Uh, you're not gonna be able to hear the game audio. Oh, I'm gonna miss this music. I'm gonna miss it so much. Um, one, two, three. We are on. Wish you on a star. That game was great. I, I'm I'm not gonna get over it. It was great. I wish I had things to say about it. I really do. Um, I feel like my words did not do it any little bit of justice. I should actually be thrown in jail for for having so little to say about that game. Um, but it was great. I really did like genuinely love and enjoy it. Um, and I hope that you also enjoyed experiencing it with me, despite my um lack of reactions and stuff i hope i didn't do a horrible job at like going of uh giving it a run through at least i really hope i didn't do a horrible job just like you know giving it the run through um portraying the experience without any of my tangents because i didn't have any <laughs> hopefully 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 it wasn't too bad but if it was too bad then we are going to we are going to wait what was i saying i was saying that if it was bad we're gonna do better in the future it's all about improving it's a good thing that i did it well no i could have waited until i forgot so maybe we'll give it its own stream one day in the future <laughs> and and really like talk it out. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. I forgot to loop it. That's a sign. It's time to, time to go. Have a good night. See you next week for sure 
for more Ace Attorney. We are going to hopefully gain any kind of clarity on what is going on in this case. Because it's, it's all over the place. I need to know. I need to know.